Hello, hello, hi guys, good morning, welcome back to the new video in this video. You see program short vowels in a string. It has been asked by no company as so far, but it's actually a standard medium problem. If you have been watching live streams, weekly content, you should be able to solve it. If not, we are actually here to help you out. Cool. Uh, let's go into the example statement itself. Uh, it says that we have a string S and also uh, we have to permute s to get a new string t now it's just that we can rearrange uh, those characters of string s now all consonants remain in the original place so the consonants which are not a e i o u are the ones which are consonants and should remain in the original place control cool um, and the vowels must be sorted in the non decreasing order of their which means they should be sorted in the non decreasing order, which means as you can infer as increasing order but with the same values of their sky values so you know that the vowels are a e i o u it can be both capital and small and a e i o u like the capital letters have a lesser sky values so it should be sorted in this order itself a i o u and then a i o u smaller ones so cool um now like return the resulting string which means that you have this string l e e t c o d e you have like only have to consider the vowels a e o and e and then take everything as it is l t c d and just take these out which is e e o and e sort it out which means firstly for sure e will come then you have to sort basically just sort this entire string out after sorting you it will actually become a e now a e i o u a e i o u e O. So E will come first and then O. So it will actually become a E, E, and then here E, and then O. So you will see that is O. It was a capital O. Sorry. It was a capital O. So if it is a capital O, so it will be capital O. So it will come first. E and E. So it will actually become a E. Sorry. E, O, E, E, and E. A E O T C E E E D N E. So for sure, it's just that you have to keep the consonants separate. Just keep the vowels. Just to sort them out and just keep on inserting in the actual array. So one way is for sure, as we actually were brute forcing and checking the answer. Firstly, we iterate on the entire string S. We know we'll just grab all the vowels in some other in some other string will grab all the vowels we will just simply apply a sort operation on that on these vowels and then when the sort operation is done we will have the actual sort array now i will again iterate on on the entire i will just have the sort array which is this let's say sa sorted array or sorted array of strings i have this array I will keep a pointer J here and I know that I have to modify this string S or I can just make a new string S as an answer and then keep on modifying that. So I will just keep on going. Okay. I, I have my I pointer here. I have my I pointer here. Now I just keep on asking, is this a vowel? If yes, then take the value from your sorted array rather just keep on moving. Okay. It's not a vowel and to just check if it's a vowel or not, just simply check if it's a e, I, o, u, u or not. So I'll just simply have a check. Okay. Now, if it is a vowel, yeah, it's a vowel. So rather taking value of I, you take the value from J. Okay. I'll just keep replace this character S I with this S J. So I S A of J. So I'll just replace E here and okay. I'll move both I and J. When J is used, move both I and J. Is this E a vowel? Yeah, it is a vowel. Cool. Then replace your S J with, sorry, S of I with this character, which is S A of J. Okay, I'll just replace it. And then it will actually become a O. Cool. I'll simply move my I forward. I'll simply move my J forward. It's a vowel. No, it is not. Simply move, you move your I forward. Is it a vowel? No, it is not. Simply move your I forward. Is it a vowel? Yeah, it is. Simply keep, get your J. S A of J and simply put it here so it will become a E. Simply move your I forward, simply move your J forward, and then it's a vowel. No, this is a vowel. Yes, simply replace it with your S of J so it will become a E itself. 
Now, simply IE forward, J forward, interesting end it, and this is your actual result, what you wanted. So that is one way in which you will see that you will actually grab all the vowels out of this particular string S of length N, and you will actually sort it out. Now, sorting takes a time of N log N. So for sure, the time needed for this will be a N log N time. Now, can we optimize it? Yes, we can. Why, why, why we can optimize it? Because you know that these are only vowels. Vowels, as we discussed, are only 10. So why we actually need to sort by using a natural sorting algorithm rather we can use some other sorting algorithm which is counting sort because we know that these are the only characters which we have in total so rather keep a count which means I'll keep a bucket so I will just have that okay I will have a e i o u a e i o u now this array will make sure okay what is the count of a okay like i'll say the count of a was zero count of e as you discussed above was one count of i was zero count of o was one count of u was zero count of a was zero count of e was two and other zero so rather iterating on this entire array of vowels i'll just iterate on this count now simply it is very easy to make this count simply have this order let's say i just name this string as my required string or like required vowels or like anything like that i can just name because these are the vowels i am actually like required so i will just name a e i o u a e i o u or you can just simply make a 2d vector from your um actual character to actual in the order of their numbers so i just want that this order to pertain or sustain so i just used this aiou and then i'll just take account okay for every uh character what is the count so an order map for that character what is the count of that so just simply taking that for specific character a let's say for specific character a what is the count so it will just store in this so with this combination i will know that i will simply iterate on these required vowels rather iterating i was earlier iterating on this particular sa now i will just iterate on this required vowels i just check okay if the current thing is a vowel if it is not a vowel simply continue if it is a vowel then simply go and check if you are at j if this count if this count is zero okay cool keep on moving forward until the count is non-zero okay now, now the count is non-zero now stop now stop and replace the value okay i'll just replace the value and i'll use one of the counts okay this will come to zero again it might happen that it might still remain here itself right because again it might happen that still it has a count which means e has a count of two so still that can remain it will not move forward okay cool now i will move here it will check okay this j this j right here was having count of zero so keep on moving forward until the count is non-zero okay i'll move here oh zero again i move okay again here it's zero now uh, you have to use this okay cool uh, i'll just use this and replace this with the o cool and for sure the count will reduce and similarly we will keep on going with this what will happen is we are using this and because of this we don't need to sort the entire we just need to grab the count of all the vowels and keep in this particular count array with us and that will be nothing but o of n time only so that's how can be a follow for the question that how you can solve it in o of n time cool let's quickly jump out of the code we'll actually solve it similarly as what we did so firstly very basic thing that what we wanted we have to just have a quick check that if it's a vowel or not so i'll just have a check that if that character which i am getting is a vowel or not so that is something which you just have to manually write that uh, if your c is a a or your c is a e or your c is or your c is a i or your c is a o or your c is a e i o u or uh, your c is a a or your c is a i or your c is a e or your c a e i a E I okay O and U A E I O U. So if this is any of these is case, it will like return me true. Now, firstly, what we wanted is to actually grab 
what all are the frequencies of vowels so what i can do is i can simply iterate on the entire string and i wanted the frequency of all the vowels so i just say that uh, i i have an unordered map saying for this character what is the count or for basically just saying okay for this character what is the count and that is only for the vowels which i am taking now i'll just check if this is a vowel if this character is a vowel, then only you should do one thing that increase your count by one. So increase your count by one. Now, I am good that I have uh, that particular entire count of all the vowels. But now, you know, I wanted the order of actually in the non decreasing order of these characters. A, I, U, U. So I'll just say uh, required uh, vowels. Uh, so that will be nothing but a e i o u and also a e i o u now when this is done i can now get my answer now for sure your answer will just remain same as that of your answer itself it's just that only the vowels will change so what i will do i will simply iterate on my entire array of strings and in this um, i'll just make sure that if like if my this character is not a vowel so i'll just check if uh vowel of s of i if this is not if this is not a vowel which means okay i can just uh, simply continue because for sure i will not replace it but if it is not a vowel else what i will do is i'll just simply keep on checking so for that i also need a j pointer which actually point to my required vowel string so i'll just keep on checking while the count while the count of my required vowels at jth index while this is zero oh bro simply keep on increasing your j which means i just want some of the vowel count to be actually non-zero now when it has come out of the truth which means it is non-zero for that non-zero value simply grab that value and say okay for the answer of i it will be required vowel of j now for sure you took one of the vowels so simply also reduce the same stuff and required vowels of j simply reduce by one also and ultimately you will have your answer in answer itself because it is what you wanted let's quickly check if we did not do anything required vowels is one thing and the other typos which we have now it seems good that's what you see. So it's time complexity is actually O of N itself. Cool. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.